partials i mean stuff like that i mean you have to put yourself into other people's pers- okay man i was gonna start up uh, today's been a today's a rough day man gotta admit it's really tough i'm about break even today because i fucked up on vxrt i used up all my cushion but before we start that uh, a couple items guys welcome back i missed last week it's good to be back guys okay um let me let me see what uh, these questions are real quick before I start. Tim says, "Whenever you use financial hole, guys, uh, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, this is going to be very important. Today is the last day, the last day that we're going to give the free. So we created over the course of six months a course called the Accelerator Jumpstart. What Accelerator Jumpstart is is this." We have so many videos. We have, s- trading is so huge. You don't know where to begin. You know, before MIC, you guys were pretty much learning on your own. Then we started to, to create a process. So we were one of the first people to talk about process. Now everybody talks about process. What a process will help you do is it makes it systematic, robotic in your trading so that you can go through a process and it'll spit out a result, which is, a, you know, most of the time should be a winning PL because the process is based around winning strategies, proven winning strategies. Then it's up to you to be a disciplined trader to apply proper risk management as well as waiting for your entries. And the entries we like to use are based upon the lines. Okay, so we started the lines a long time ago, which basically is the, sim- the most simple way to do entries and exits. But the problem is this. Where do you begin learning all this? We have many, many, many members learning for the past two years successfully. What we did was we wanted to create a course which basically accelerates and jump starts the path. Because trading is, you know, <laughs> There are people that take to trading naturally right away, and there's people that take forever. Or some people that never, ever become a good trader. That's just a normal fact of life, right? So what we did was we we took all of what we know so far, all our videos, and we kind of created a cliff notes, a condensed version called the Accelerate Jumpstart. So it's a seven or seven and a half hour course that will take you from knowing not much about trading, which is basically nothing, from not knowing anything, we define what a stock is and all that, to being able to place your first trade after you finish this course. But it doesn't mean you become a profitable trader right away. But what it means is you are now educated enough to place your first trade. And then that's the beginning, that's jump starting your education, okay? This will save you tremendous amount of hours, tremendous. We created this, we beta tested it within MIC's groups, lifetime members such as Faye and everybody else, Vic and whoever else, beta test this, make sure it works. And we have given this out to every single annual member out there for free. But that will end this today, right Tosh? So So basically we said this, when we launched the accelerator, we didn't wanna charge anybody. Because that's not what we do, right? We're not here to freaking try and dickle and dime you. We spent six months, countless of hours, to develop this course. And so, we gave it for free if you are an annual member. But that's going to end midnight today, guys. So, if anybody that joins MIC after this is going to have to pay. I mean, that, I, there's nothing you can do. And free, people don't value free stuff. We gave it over a month time. And... The price is going to be like 1400 bucks or something, which is still much cheaper than every other course out there, guys. You got these guys selling outdated DVDs for fucking eight grand, paying 8000 fucking dollars for A, B, C, D, B, F, fuck patterns and all this stupid shit, and you still don't understand what, how to trade. But this, with this course, it's not even a DVD, it's, a, it's an actual course that we sell. But we, we're giving it for free, guys, for all annuals. So text Tosh. Before I start my IG Live, I want you guys, to, if you guys are interested, text Tosh because this is this is going to go away, guys. It's not going to be free anymore. 
So, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. We, we gave enough time. And text Tosh. Tosh will give you his text messages, his text number. So just text him, and then you see what you do, okay? If you can't currently afford it, text him and figure something out. But this course, in my opinion, is very life-changing because I have a lot of friends out there that have taken this course. And they're like, oh, my God, Val, I have a guy. For example, my friend. He joined a year ago, and it's just like, dude, there's just so many videos. I don't know where to begin. You know, the the traders that take time and watch the videos, they have excelled. Okay, the people that are kind of lazy, I mean, they're just lazy. So this DVD, this course is not a DVD. It's an actual course for designed for the lazy people. I don't want to use that word, but you know, that's what it is. It's like it's like watching the Cliff Notes, guys. The Cliff Notes, which is like the summary of the book, instead of reading a 2,000-page War and Peace book, you, you know, you're reading a 30-page synopsis, Cliff Notes version, right? So that's what we did. Doesn't mean you become the best trader, but it'll get you jump-started to the point where you understand now the concepts and how to place your first trade. Okay, so so that ends tonight. We are also raising prices on lifetimes. We are pretty much the most inexpensive. In my opinion, we are the best educational service out there, guys. We are actually the only educational service out there. And I call this a true educational service because we teach you to trade. We do not pump and dump. We don't alert stocks. We have a watch list. We guide you. We teach you to become self-sufficient. And that is the difference. And that's why, in my opinion, we are not the largest group out there. Because people like get rich quick. They don't want to fucking put time in. Which, you know what, man? I'm I'm sick and tired of telling people, don't be a sheep. Eventually, you'll join MIC, guys. Because eventually, you will lose money chasing and not understand what the hell you're doing. All these Robin Hood guys right now are chasing people on live streams, showing big P&Ls. All these guys are doing is revenge trading. They're they're not teaching you the proper way. Okay? If you want to make it in this game, guys, if you want to make it in this game, you must learn how to properly trade for yourself. Getting rich quick is a one-time thing, okay? You'll start slowly bleeding back all your profits. I've been there. I've done that. And so when we started MIC, we wanted to really teach people how to trade. And that's what it is. That's why everybody comes here. This is why every Tuesday I do this live. Every Monday Alex does the live. Who does this? No one fucking does this. They're too busy pumping their own fucking playbook. They're trying to fucking use you as sheep, okay? I don't know. This is not meant to be a rent on them, but... I'm just letting you guys know. And then tomorrow, every Wednesday, is Tosh's webinar. If you want to know what MIC is like, join, join his free webinar tomorrow. You'll see inside of MIC. You'll see the people. You know, all these trolls are saying we're scammers. What, a, what the fuck are we scamming? It's fucking funny. We are the most transparent community out there. We let you look into the community. The members itself have fucking talked about us. No one ever says anything bad because, you know, there's nothing... That we do that was scamming. You know, we don't pump you any positions. I, I could easily pump my positions, but I do not. And that was the intent all along for you to learn. And we have members truly learn. We are growing members from scratch. But anyways, so that's, you know, I don't want to get into that. I want to talk about today. And today what we talk about is the cushion game. Okay, because this is very important. It happened to me today. It happened to some of the members who, who messaged me today. cushion game you know why i want to talk about the cushion game because the stock market has been crazy right now man it's it's like people are making a lot of money and people are also losing a lot of money and so for the guys that are making money they're on a ridiculous win streak and when you're on the ridiculous win streak sometimes you forget the discipline the rules that got you there because you're playing the cushion game i'm up so much it's like dude what the hell? I can let shit go. Because you know what? It works. Every time I broke a rule, I made money. And so I'm rewarded. During the streak, this is why I keep trying to tell everybody. It's so important. It's not how much you make, guys. It's the method that you make it that will define your long-term success as a trader. Because if you are breaking the rules and doing all these crazy gambling shit like... like Freaking revenge trading. I see these stupid guys revenge trade all the time. I'm down 50 grand. Oh, what an epic day. I made it all back. 
It's not fucking epic. You shouldn't be fucking down 50 grand. What is that teaching the members? You know, just because the guru can make it back and the guru has deep pockets, the members are learning bad, bad, bad habits that will blow them up. There will be stocks like VXRT, like Beyond Meat, Tilray, Dries, those stocks that will not come down, that you will go broke, okay? Bad habits, you got to shake them, guys. It's more important on the process that you make the money. Some of my best days were losing days because I stopped out. I was able to get out of a position before I blew up my account. A small loss is a huge victory most of the time. Okay? And so today I'll give you an example. I woke up today. I hammered WKHS. I did all this great thing. I was in the groove, man. In the morning I was like, dude, I was... I was so what I did was I built up a big cushion before the market even opened. I was up like over five grand before the market even opened, right? And so I'm like, okay. And so I, I was in a, so many positions, guys, that I was like, I, I, I wasn't even paying attention. Next thing you know, two stocks did, did something, okay? VXRT. I didn't even know I was filled. I didn't even know it went up a buck. That's how stupid it was because VXRT, I was like, this guy got to be dead, right? It was so beat up, this pre-market. It was so beat up. I was like, okay. So I started to scale in. But the stupid thing I did was I had blind orders and too many of them. That was a mistake that will fix ongoing. The mistake I'm fixing ongoing is this, guys. Being too arrogant to think that you cannot lose. And so what I did was I, I all of a sudden had all these open orders got swept on the way up. I don't even know why I put those. The reason I put those is because I was lazy. Because I wanted to trade 10 positions at once. And I was up. I had a cushion. I'm like, okay, if I fill 5,000 shares of this, in order for me to lose 5,000 bucks, it has to go up a dollar. Sure enough, fucking VXRT went up a fucking dollar. And then all of a sudden, I'm sitting on a $5,000, $6,000 loss. And I'm like, what the fuck? There goes all of the hard work I did pre-market. And so... So there I am. Now I'm stuck. And the moment I noticed that, though, I, that, I did the right thing. I, I, you know, I took the loss. You know, before, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, like, triple down. I didn't do anything. I just took the loss. I waited for the dip, and I took the loss. But the problem was the dip never came. And so that's another mistake, too. Sometimes, don't, don't, don't wait for the dip to come. Just, just hit the offer and get the fuck out. You know, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for the next dip. I'm going to wait for the next dip. Next you know, it went up 50 cents more. You know, 50 cents on a 6,000 share position, 7,000 position. Is, you know, that's so I could have basically lost half. Instead of losing 6,000, I could have only lost 3,000. But instead, I lost 6,000 on VXRT because I was being a stupid ass. I was arrogant. I was on a good streak. I was using cushion. Next you know, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm down like, you know, I was down on paper for like eight grand. I covered for a $6,000 loss. I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I made money on the other stocks, but it's just stupid, right? It's one of these stupid things where when, when, when you make money, like I keep telling you, you know, I, in the beginning, when you make money, it's all because of good discipline. You had good process. You stopped out well, all this stuff. Then it comes to a point where you made a lot of money, and then it becomes a cushion game to you. You're like, you know, I'm already up this much. So the cushion disappears very quickly, guys. That's why I keep making these videos to remind everybody, when you're on a winning streak, those are the most dangerous. Because when you're on a win streak, you throw caution to the wind. Meaning you, you're you like, I don't give a fuck about risk management. I'm up five grand today. I'm up 15 grand this week. I'm up 100 grand this month. Whatever it may be, right? So you walk around like you don't give a damn. Because you know what, man? It always worked before. During the streak, you would break the habits and it would work. And so, some, but then, you know what, man? Eventually, this is what happens to streaks, guys. Eventually, streaks end. Every single streak ends. Okay? You have to be careful with that one loss. I keep telling everybody all the time. Being consistent is not enough. You, you can still be consistent, but still be an unprofitable trader. How? Imagine you're on a winning streak. You're up 10 days in a row. But that one loss wipes the entire streak out. That's how a consistent trader is not a profitable trader. There's a huge difference, actually. 
being consistent is just the first step. I keep telling you, I tweeted yesterday about the aha moment. The aha moment, it's not just being consistent. It's the risk management of not letting that one loss wipe out the entire streak. And that is how you get over the hurdle and how you're able to get to the next step. The next step being is being consistently profitable trader. If you want to do this thing full time, if you want to do this forever, you must, you must control your risk. Okay? Have good habits. Use hard stops. What I did was this. I have all my members call the broker to set up your our account with a max daily loss. Because I don't trust myself. I put my account just at 10,000 bucks, but that's still better than fucking blowing my entire account, right guys? Whatever the number is for you, put it there. It could be a thousand bucks, it could be 5,000, it could be 500, it doesn't matter what it is. You do not want that one losing day to wipe out your streak. You know, you could do it maybe two days average loss if you want, whatever it may be. Because if you're on a 10 day winning streak, sure, the next time you lose, you hit the max loss, and the max loss is maybe two days. You're still up eight days. That's the secret. Because what's going to happen is this. I guarantee you this will happen because it happens to me often before, right? Where I'm on a 10-day winning streak. And I'm up fucking 100 grand or some shit like that. And then, boom. I step into a turd. A low floater. Front side, stupid short. Next thing you know, I'm fighting this thing. Breaking the zombie rule. I start out with... Okay, I, my, my cushion, I was up 5,000 today. The cushion gets wiped out. And then your, your mind starts to fuck around with you. You're like, you know what, you're up this week. So then that week cushion goes away. Then you start to do research. This is a sign, man. The moment you start doing research and you're stuck in the stock, it means you get the fuck out, guys. You should have done research prior to getting in. So some of the key indicators, guys, and that's why a tab is very important. The mental aspect of this. Risk management involves a couple of things. Is a, is a mind control. And a lot of us, like myself, are very weak mind mentally. So we have to set parameters, such as using hard stops. I, I put a hard stop on WKS today. I, I just didn't put on the XRT for some reason. I'm just stupid. Um, but then you have a tab, which reminds you. But the ultimate one, in my opinion, is call your broker and set the max daily loss. So I have a max daily loss, okay? You can set it for two days loss. And that's completely fine. And so that's what saves you guys. Because I'm going to tell you, man. It's always that one losing day that blows up your entire account. Because what happens is you're up so much during that streak that you start to oversize. Now I'm starting to oversize, for example, right? Like, oh, I'm up. Let's press. Let's press. So the problem is this. You know, you keep pressing. But if you do not have proper risk management... The fact that you've just doubled, tripled your size, it's like, it's go and then you lose, it's going to wipe out triple the streak. So using 1,000 shares during your streak, 10 days, so you got 10,000 shares, right? Now you upped it to 5,000, 3,000 because of the cushion game. All you need to do is just be down one day and wipe out your streak. And this is why you have to set a fence, guys. And I see these guys... These teachers, educators, bullshit. I don't call them educators. I call them bumpers. They have zero risk management. And I'm just shaking my head. Because what's going to happen is if you do not have that, eventually you're going to blow up. They just, have more, they just happen to have money, so they refill. But as a student, guys, you guys want to alleviate that. And I, I, I've got messages today from people that have been on streaks and they've hit their max loss. And they try to call the broker to, do, to turn off that max loss. And then, thank God, the broker's like, no, no, I can't do that. Which is the best fucking idea, okay? When you hit that, that's cool down. It's okay. Walk the fuck away. There's no good when you come in. It's like you got beat up by the bully. Go home. You, why do you want to come back and get beat up more? Most of the time, you not make it back unless you revenge trade. I've seen guys buy million-dollar positions to try to make back 50000 and it's like the dumbest fucking shit. And then they, they fucking happy. Epic. It's epic. I made all bad. Epic. I'm the best. My room's the best. Enter the fucking club. I'm, not, it's like, I'm like, dude, that's not how we do it. And that's not how I want anybody to do it. Because 
Eventually, you're all going to come back and you're going to tell me the same thing about, I was on a massive streak, but I fucking blew up again, man. I blew up again. And that, and then I keep asking the same questions. Did you break the rule? Do you have a hard stop? Do you have a tap? Did you set the broker max daily loss and stuck with it? Or did you try to call the broker to get back into your account? Every major loss I had was on a bigger size account with no restrictions, guys. I'm telling you right now, my little account's kicking ass. My little $35,000 account's kicking ass because that has all of the restrictions on. Sure, I, can, I have a max size on that as well. 10,000 shares is my max size. And I have a 10,000 max loss. And the other account is a bigger account. I could, I could buy 50, 000, short 50,000 shares I want. No max loss. But you know what, guys? My little account is doing fucking much better. Because, because I'm not tilting. I can never tilt on that little account. If I tilt, my max loss will be hit or my max size. I cannot add it back a certain size. So, so what, what it does is this, guys. There's many levels of protection you need to put for yourself. Because it's going to be very dangerous now. The markets may shift, and all of a sudden, what you think is working is not going to work. A lot of people do not understand this. People think they're going to fucking make money forever. That stocks go up forever. No, dude. You need to put a parameter around yourself. Because I don't trust myself. I'm pretty sure you don't trust yourself. So max size is also an important thing. Because what happens if you want to use 3,000 shares max size, call your broker. Tell them, do not let me add more than 3,000 share positions. They will set that on their fucking screen. Because what's going to happen is this. It's going to prevent you from adding to a loser. Like today. I, I, I'm on my little account. I maxed out on VXRT. I couldn't add more size. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I wanted, fuck. I was right. I was right. Every time, you know. But they kept on going up. So thank God I couldn't add any more size. So the fact that we lost 6,000 bucks, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Versus I'd be in fucking 25,000 shares of this shit. So... Go and set your max size and max loss and all that stuff. And I'm telling you, man, these, these environments, the, the money is there if you follow the process. And also, I want to talk about one more last thing before we bring someone on. People have been posting a lot of crazy p out there, guys. Do not, you know, if you watch that and you look and it affects you, stop looking. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys get affected by yourself, too. It's like, what the fuck? This dumb fuck is making this much money? And why am I putting a pussy? Why am I sizing up? Why am I doing training this? Why am I not gambling? Why am I revenge training? Why am I? You see what I'm saying? So it gets you out of your game. And just remember, you only need to make four thousand dollars a day on the average to make a million a year. You don't need to be swinging fifty thousand days. The guys that are swinging fifty thousand days. They might have fifty thousand day losses too. You know, which you do not want, unless you have a big enough bankroll, right? So everything is in perspective, guys. Everything is in perspective. Focus on yourself. And that's how you get there. Every time I, I every time I see another guy PL and I try to press and express, I, I I fuck up. You know, I'm like, why is that necessary? Who gives a shit? You know, let them make their money. It doesn't mean that you're a worse trader, you're a worse individual. Just you you do you, dude. You do you. And so that's that's the trader maturity that I want all members, all you guys to understand. You know, you just need to be better than the person you were yesterday. If you want to compete with some, someone, compete with yourself. Any questions? Okay, so I'm going to field some questions now, guys. And then I'm going to bring someone on. Anybody on? Who wants to get on? Raise your hand. Anybody questions? Repeat the question. I'm going to take a couple questions and if you, anybody wants to come on, I'll bring you a screen, split screen on. I don't know, the hand is uh, sizing, please. What, what, what is your question on sizing? Remember guys, you have to be specific with these questions. You can't just say, oh, how do I make money? How do I short? How do I go long? Uh, sizing. What the fuck is sizing me? <laughs> Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna lie. This is my. This is good. Mike's one of our. Hey, pal. 
Hey, what's Hey, man, I haven't seen you in a while, brother. Hey, tell me how, uh, who you are and all that stuff and, and what's going on uh, with your training because this is a good story, uh, my guys. Name's Mike, uh, Mike Trend in uh, MIC. And uh, yeah, um, I DM'd you earlier that you were, you were talking about the Christian game. That was, the, that was me today. That was uh, I, 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 yep. I took the max, I, I did a max loss today. Uh, I, I, I had a, uh, I was on so a tell, tell streak. everybody what you, what you did though because you, had, you were on a streak, right? Yeah, I was on a really good streak. You, you were on a good streak, so tell us, so tell the backstory. So, um, I guess I was just getting a little careless. So, tell us the backstory. What do you, uh, so, you went on the uh, – so, before that, so I want to paint the picture for everybody so everybody understands the backstory on how it led to today. Yeah. And so, you were on a nice win streak. Uh-huh. You were – and during this time, were you, 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 were you uh, obeying the rules? You were training well or you were revenge training? Yeah, I was trading really. Uh, I was trading really well. I was talking to my tabs like I, I was telling them like, yeah, this this month, not just P and L wise, it's, it's been my best month, but also like trading wise, uh, execution wise, uh, I've just been sticking to my process and uh, staying disciplined. But um, I guess today uh, I kind of sized in too early on uh, KHS and then um, it was in pre market, and then I wasn't even paying attention, and I got. Uh, on that squeeze right before the open, I uh, got filled and then. Uh, that that uh, was that was the offering. That was the news on the offering, dude. Yeah, it was crazy. I, and yeah. Yeah, and then I kind of underestimated. Like, I knew I should have stopped out, but I was like, no, I think this will. You know, it's it's gonna tank. But then I didn't think it was gonna squeeze that hard, so I got a little stubborn and and then eventually just hit my max loss because I, I sized in too early. So I guess I got too comfortable. Okay, so that's that's just. That's because you you were on a good streak. You yeah. were careless, right? Yeah. You didn't I was, think this will I was, happen. I was telling my tab. Uh, you, too. I was like, man, I, I, I'm I'm on a good streak. I, uh, I shouldn't have told told you guys because I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself the next day. And I guess you know it didn't happen. But that, that, that's usually what happens. What happens when you're in good streak? You feel so fucking good, dude. Every time I'm, yeah. I'm going to Amazon, looking for shit to buy, walking around like I'm King Kong. And then yeah. the next day, you're like, you know what, man? Man, I made so much money doing this stream. Training like a, like a wimp. Why do I yeah. size up the next day? That's what happens. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you're like, holy fuck, man. Why do I just press it? And mm-hmm. so what happens is this. You pressing it doesn't mean just adding size randomly. It means you, sizing for the appropriate trade. So if, if you if if you're shorting the front side, you should be adding size, right? So WKS was like was like straight up front side shit, right? So yeah. So if you want to do backside shit, then that's the time to size up. Yeah. And so so sizing is great, but you have to size it appropriately for the setup, right? Mm-hmm. But it all leads to this, Mike, which which I'm glad. I'm glad that you have a max daily loss. Yeah. You imagine, man, if at that then maybe you would have fucking blown double your fucking loss. Yeah, I, I even asked Cobra Chat to uh, hey, uh, hey. block it too, but <laughs> they wouldn't do it. <laughs> so, so that was a blessing, man. Even though you yeah. make money or lose money, but this is the time to cool off, guys. Because I mean, I've I've been there, man. I, I I'm so bad where I meet, I hit a max loss, I pull another account. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I fucking dude, I, I and usually it never ends well, guys. I end up losing double. And I feel like shit the next day. You know, I feel shit yeah. the next day. The next mm-hmm. minute, not even the day, the next minute, I'm fucking feeling like shit. So, so, so now, Mike, so this is a good thing because you still are up during this streak. It didn't, yeah, you didn't yeah. blow I mean, your entire streak. I only lost yesterday, uh, a little more than yesterday's game. So, I mean, it's, it's not too bad, but. So, I mean, it's a good lesson, it's so I guess. Stupid, right? yeah. <laughs> it's still stupid, right? But, 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 but this is exactly what we talked about, man. When you're on a good streak, the most dangerous thing is to lose the entire streak on, on revenge trading because you have that you don't want to lose, right? Because you're using the Christian game. Yeah. So the fact that you ended your loss, losing only one day's of profits, it's great, man. And that that's the best thing you can hope for. And that's why a max daily loss was was created. If you want, you can go reduce your max daily loss. It's up to you. People don't understand that. Hey, you don't have to keep the same amount of max daily loss or the same max size all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on a streak and you're scared, fucking reduce it. <laughs> reduce yeah. how you max daily loss. Yeah. Because I, cause you know yourself, right? I, I know myself too, man. When I'm going on a streak, I get reckless. Dude. I get I'm too dead. I'm mm-hmm. training all this stupid shit. 
<laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck, Alex is away? My cat is away. Seriously, man. I'm getting set along. Battle's going to be in fucking berserk mode. Because uh-huh. that's what happened. I feel like I'm a fucking kid. My mom's away. My parents are away. I can do whatever I fucking want. Yep. <laughs> so that's what I did today. I was like, Alex is away. He's not going to scream at me for twenty stupid shit. And so yeah. I just started creating all this stupid ass shit. I'm breaking the rules. I'm doing all this shit. And you know, thank God, I was like, I'm, I'm fucking about breaking even today, but you know, but it's just yeah. stupid, right? It's yeah. just stupid. Should have been avoided, yeah. So what are you gonna do now? So, so, so you understood this. So what are your measures on doing on how to fix this, or is it okay? You keep doing what you're doing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I I think um, I just uh. I got I, I kind of sized in too early. I, I start. I, I guess I had a little fall. I started scaling too early, and then um, I kind of underestimated the stock. And I didn't. I didn't obey my stop too because it was pre-market, so I didn't have a hard stop. And then uh, I just let it run. And then yep. I, I knew yep. I should have stopped out by dude. Didn't. That's the same as me. Yeah. That's the same as me. me I, didn't, I didn't think it was. So my idea was high. I located two thousand shit. Mm-hmm. Dude, no one did, bro. But yeah. you know, in trading, that shit happened. It was at fourteen dollars, bro. Yeah. When the news came out, it hit fourteen bucks, uh-huh. and then whipped all the way back up to eighteen bucks. It's some crazy stuff. Yeah. And so, I hey man, I could have fucking, I could have just gotten in trouble just like you. So mm-hmm. I located two thousand shares and I fucking used it, and I'm I supposed I supposed to locate four, but something happened and two didn't go through. So I'm like, thank God it didn't go through. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes like that, it's like, dude. There's no business fucking doing 4,000 pre-market on that fucking shit, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's just like stupid. It's yeah. like, it's like on the street, on the street, you have to think yourself like, would you have done this if you were red yesterday? Yeah, so every no, day, yeah. this is the, this is the thing that kept me going for all these years. It's like, every time I wake up, dude, I try to forget what I did yesterday, meaning dollar mm-hmm. amounts. Why I did this month? Mm-hmm. Because the moment you start thinking that, it fucks your brain. Every day is a new day. Every day for me is a new day. I lose, seriously, Mike. I lose today because I came in thinking, I'm going to size up today. Yeah. Why the fuck am I being a pussy? I'm going to size up today. I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to start trading more aggressively because it worked. It worked. Yeah. And so I deviate from my process. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I used the cushion game to, to keep adding to a loser. I did all this stupid shit, which I, you know, I, I shouldn't have done. So. Yeah. So now I'm going to go back and just go back to my normal process. Yeah, I think I had the same uh, mind. Uh, and so, you know, mindset as you today this morning, I, I felt like uh, I couldn't lose. I, I, I trade a little bit more aggressive, and I don't know. I just, I, I think I just wanted to. I, I just got a little careless. Correct. And so, before that trade, though, were you making money on another trade, or did you make money on that trade? Uh, or that was just uh, you got in, you lost right away. Yeah, that was, that was the only. I had open orders, but that was the only one that got hit in pre-market, and then. Uh, okay. I, I just got stubborn and didn't uh, didn't want to accept the loss. Okay. So sometimes, man, this is what happens to me. Sometimes I, I, I win a little money and I get arrogant. And then I fucking I, then I'm like, why did I just size so little? Yeah. And then I, I, I size bigger to do a makeup trade. Yeah, That's makeup how I get trade, stuck. Yeah. And then today, like, you know, I just got so careless at P-O-L-A. I just, I had so many fucking open orders on shit. I didn't mm-hmm. do house cleaning. Uh, one of the mem- one of the members in chat reminded me to do house cleaning. I saw that, and so I went back. But it was a little too late. Some of the house cleaning. So you have to, you have to do your process. Sometimes trading less. I'm telling you, man. Today was it was just overly greedy for myself. So, but what you did was right. You focus on one stock that you like the most, but you just sized in too quick, too early without confirmation, right? Yeah. Definitely. So that, that's what it was. So. It's a mistake that you. That's a mistake that you can overcome, bro. And I'm I'm glad that uh, you had the max daily loss. <laughs> <laughs> but what what's the WKS at right now? Uh, it's at. I think it's at. Oh dang, it's at almost. It's 1985. Making nineteen dollars. Yeah, almost twenty dollars. Wait, wait, it's almost tw- it's almost twenty dollars. Yeah, you 19... see, you see, bro. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> see. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess it's kind of a good thing that if you, uh, if you have broke the rules, trading a zombie, I... bro, bro, you know what's gonna happen, bro? You, you're gonna, you're you're gonna end up trading during the zombie hours. I guarantee you, yeah. <laughs> because you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> this yeah. thing was fourteen bucks. <laughs> oh, that's that's why I left. That's why I fucking left, man. 
That's why I look. I, I went on this IG stand and I screwed, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get in because I'm like, dude, 1850 all day long. I was using that line. I, I made three dollars a share, yeah. scalping 50 cent moves all day long. So I scalped mm-hmm. six times, and then what? All it needs to do is like you know you break the zombie rule, you give back all your gains, and that's what happens. So. Yeah. Go, man. Any, any other uh, any other comments you want to mm. tell everybody or? Uh, I I I really like your. I, I noticed you've been stopping out really uh, uh really well. I, that's the, that's what's uh really uh impressed me the most because I noticed you, you're really you got you've gotten a lot better at stopping out and I always uh, uh take notes on that. Yeah, man. Because I'm like, I I I'm a very. I promise this, man. If if I trade the process, I hardly ever lose. Yeah. It's, I, it's one of those things where I, I know my skills are so good that I get so careless, bro, because I know I can recover. Yeah. But the thing is, it's stupid, unnecessary. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, why, why do I want to fucking, like, just piss away easy games and then have to work it back? Yeah. So a lot of the times, it's, 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 it's the arrogance of knowing that I can work it back and start adding. But that's the, that's the wrong way to educate. That's just not the right way to trade. And mm. so I've been very... Like you see, like, man, I've been trying to stop out, which I've done. The one time I didn't stop out was VXRT today. It was yeah, stupid because yeah. I didn't even fucking see it. And that's, and that's my mistake was over-trading. Mm-hmm. I had too many open orders at one. I didn't even know I was in. That stopped. So, so, so I'm working. Every day I'm working on that, man. I'm working on being able to stop out early and eating the loss early before I have to start using some skills to trade and get myself out, right? Yeah, that, that's what it is, man. Sometimes you better to run away, man, and come back another day, right? Yeah. Time, so. Good, man. Well, you, so next time, who knows, man? <laughs> uh, size appropriately. Yeah. Oversize and shit happens, man. This yeah. crazy. These are the crazy markets. Mm. So, I've actually did a, I I I put a hard stop on WKS once today, on mm. the 18th, and it, it fucking. It broke 18, it's still be 18.30, so I was kind of pissed off on yeah. 1,000 shares. But you know what, man? The fact that I did that, it, it's like, it, it's a good habit. Next time, next time this thing will fly up to 25 bucks. Yeah. And that 30 cent slippage would have been the best stop out ever, right? Right. So it's so every day I'm trying to create better habits. That, that's all it is, man. Mm-hmm. Create better habits. Even though we can get away with it. <laughs> But it's that one time we don't get away. It's like drinking yeah. and driving, right? Yep. I, I get away with it like a like hundred times. But all it takes is one fucking time to ruin your entire life, right? All it takes is that one. Yep. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. Yeah, thank and, you, uh, man. Great, great stuff. For, uh... All right, man. I'll see you in the room. All right. Thanks, all right. brother. <clears throat> well, that, uh, any other questions, guys? I want to keep this kind of short. Wow. Uh, Today's the last day of the accelerator. Like I said, text Tosh, guys. Text Tosh. This is uh, these are the things we teach every day. If you're losing more than 200 bucks a month, guys, 200 bucks a day, there's no reason for you not to join. Even I reduce my ego to the point where I'm talking about all this stuff, right? I'm not the best trade. I'm posting losses in the roof too. You saw that. It's like I don't need to shy away from this stuff. It's like it's embarrassing. I'm tell- telling you, man. It's just fucking embarrassing to lose. It's, the the loss doesn't embarrass me. It's the the break and the deviation from process. How can I not stop out? You know, stupid shit like that. It's not the money, guys. I made the money back in like a day, no problem. But, but it's just the stupidity. And so these are the things I force myself to come to terms with. Looking in the mirror. Sometimes looking in the mirror. Just say, you know, man, it's your fucking fault, Val. It's your fault that you lost the shit. No one else is. Don't blame this shit on the summer market. Don't blame this shit on anything else. It's you. It's you. The moment that you take a hard look at yourself, and realize that you are the issues, you can start to change. And you know, we're here to help you guys. No no one's no one's competing in MIC. We are here to fucking help you. Because even I am not even I am human. I lose. That fucking sucks. I I feel like crap. Not even the money, guys. It's just you know that you you feel like you know what, even in twenty years, how can you how can I not stop out? But that's happened. That's human nature. And the fact that I am so human, so imperfect. And I can still do this. You can do it too, guys. All right, guys. Let me see. What's the difference between and prop trader? Hey, we don't want to go. You know, prop trader, they, they, you trade their money. You have to get licensed, guys. All that stuff, you have to get licensed. You have to get a Series 7, all that stuff. It's going to take you 
So learn to trade because you, you can't be joining a top trading if you don't, if you don't have a trade anyway. So, so learn to trade, guys. All right. I'll